Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video and the intro, we are going over a system here. Basically it is the folding stock slash brace adapters from the folks over at Midwest Industries. We have this one here mounted up on my BRN 180 lower there from Brownells, as you guys can see. And then additionally, we mounted one up here on our Strybog Grand Power A3. And this one here has the tail hook brace on there. And we'll touch on this one as well. It should be a pretty simple video, kind of simple products, but they're cool products. And I uh, wanna show them to you guys today. So let's get up close and personal and check out how they work. Before we get up close and personal on them, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is the Sonoran Desert Institute, or SDI. As you may know them, they are an accredited uh, university and they teach various topics that you guys should see here on your screen. And folks are always asking, how do I get into the gun industry? How do I get a job involved with firearms? Because it's a passion of theirs and they wanna you know, love their work, those sorts of things. Um, SDI certainly is a good route to go. If you're in that boat, I have a number of friends that are graduates from SDI. And honestly, they all have good things to say about it, which makes it easy for me to have them as a sponsor. So that pretty much is it. Thanks again to the folks over at Sonoran Desert Institute. Now. Let's get up close and personal. Before I get into the details on each individual adapter, one thing I wanna mention and showcase here is that each of them are essentially their standard fixed adapters that they've had out forever and modified to fold, right? So the reason that's important in my opinion is that these are already very proven products in the marketplace just with a additional feature. So uh, here, this of course would be their standard mount that you guys have seen now for quite a while. And then of course this would be their folding version of it adds a little bit of weight for sure uh, the actual portion here is made out of 7075 t6 aluminum it has that type 3 hard anodizing on there and of course everything here uh, from midwest is made 100 percent here in america so uh, we have this one here which of course is just going to be an adapter for an ar a buffer tube assembly so really there are a ton of adaptations that this one would fit it does have a 1913 mounting interface as all of these do um, and it folds in the exact same way so how does it fold let's get into that so next up we're going to cover the folding version of this model here and in terms of how does it fold what you're going to do is just kind of push up on it a little bit and then it'll break the friction lock that it has here and the springs will engage and the springs engage in the folded position and as you guys can see if i don't kick my camera it's not going to like come out or anything like that it takes a little bit of force just right there so that way we overcome the spring tension that it has in the folded position i'm not saying it couldn't come open but it's highly highly unlikely and then once we get back here you'll feel a little bit of the tension come in and then snaps right in place as this piece and this piece are engaging and then at that point it is rock solid on there very very sturdy mounting system for sure there's not any wiggle or anything like that in there um and this piece here of course is the folding version of this one so we have our six position uh, adjustable capability if you're using a stock if you're using a brace it takes it down to five position and then one well, most braces anyway and then we have our storage compartment here on the end it is o-ring sealed as you guys can see there and you can put any number of things in there batteries uh twizzlers whatever you feel like sticking in there you can do so so that is how this assembly here works one thing that's nice about it too to point out with any of these adapters guys is that a lot of guns these days that are coming out have these 1913 adapters here on the rear very very common and some of them will require or necessitate rather a different cheek position so it allows you to put it either up high like we have here with an ar style system and a higher uh, upper receiver or here you can see i put it down fairly low because of the angle here of the upper receiver being relatively high up compared to this one so it is kind of cool to have that modular capability to it and i'm going to stick this one back on here if i can there we go set that one out of the way and look at this guy here so here we have sort of a skeletonized one so if it, this one obviously you can't use an ar-15 style uh, brace or stock and we have to use something like either a stock that Midwest Industries does offer or something like this Gearhead Works brace that we have here, which sort of mounts in there just through tension. So you guys can see here, we have the holes there to lighten it up and it's all skeletonized. It has a quick detach sling attachment points there at the three and six and nine o'clock position. They are there at the bottom as well, if you want to use that. And once again, you guys can see here, 
there's a little bit of resistance, that spring resistance. So you definitely have to actually put some pressure behind it to get it to move, not a ton, of course. Um, and then you guys can see here at the rear, we do have the two screws that go in there. I highly recommend you Loctite those. It does come with the red locker and it has Midwest Industries logo embossed on there. And once again, it's gonna basically fold in the exact same way where these two pieces are just gonna overlap each other like so. And then at that point, we're locked in right there. And again, it's solid as can be. There's no wiggle, no nothing to it at all in the system. And on this one here, just pull up again and open it up. So pull up slightly and then start to fold. And that's how they work. As I predicted in the intro, it's a relatively short video at this point. Uh, a couple things to talk about. Have we had any issues at all with the product? Absolutely not. No issues at all to report. Everything functions as it should, which is great. It makes gear reviews very easy to do in that case. Additionally, the big thing is gonna be cost. They all cost a little bit different, but it's roughly street price anyway, $160 to $130. That is as of right now when I'm filming in 2021, things may change in the future, but again, all American made product, which I know a lot of folks do like versus some of the competitive options out there on the market. Um, and again, it works as advertised. Midwest Industries also has great customer service if you ever have to deal with them. Uh, they've definitely earned that reputation over the years in that regard. Uh, full disclosure, they did send these out for the review, um, but I'm as unbiased as I can always be. I do my best in that regard. So uh, yeah, they're definitely good to go. I will continue using them in the future and you guys are gonna keep seeing them here on the channel. If you have any questions about them or anything like that, you can always post down below in the comments section or any of my other social media that you see here on your screen. Additionally, we do have two different channel emails now. So now we have one that just shows you all of my content since the last email went out typically goes out once or twice a month. And that way there's no gigantic tech giant censoring your eyes from my content. If you guys think you're subscribed here on YouTube, just double check that because sometimes they're unsubscribing people these days. Um, it is what it is, but that's why we have that email so I can go straight VFR from me to you, VFR direct rather, uh, to your inbox so you guys can see all of that content. We also have a daily deals email. So if these things go on sale or anything like that, we'll shoot that one out pretty much daily, sometimes I miss a day, but almost every single day and any other deals that we find along the way that I think my audience might be interested in. And lastly, my content is now over on the Warrior Poet Society Network. My content there is free and ad free as well, I might add, because I'm just some random guy standing on a dock, but they do have premium content over there as well. Um, and that content is a subscri subscription, if I could talk, based service. And there's a 10% discount code down below in the video description as well, if you're interested in signing up over there. And that's all I got for you. We're gonna end it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm having a hard time with that word. Either way, I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.